Hey y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is a YouTube channel where I share all about my knitting, crocheting, Today it's gonna to be cross stitch. I basically just share all of my crafting adventures. I have not done cross stitch in quite a while, but recently I got the itch to do it again. And in the process, it's kind of a long story. You can hear more about it on some of the vlogs. I'll link the one down below where I chat more about the specifics of the one I'm about to show you. But I've got the bug to cross stitch again and I have stumbled upon a lot of my grandmother's stuff that she had given to me about four years ago. Some finished items, unfinished items, and you guys were interested in seeing those. I'm going to, while I'm sitting here, show you the one that I have downstairs with me that I've most recently been working on, but then I will take y'all upstairs, show you the two framed photos that I have that she gifted to me um, that she had had in her house. And then I will also show you the finished unframed items that I have of hers, as well as another unfinished project that she had started. So the first one that I have that I have been working on, there is not much left to finish on it in the grand scheme of the picture. So I'm gonna show you that one first. Here is the pattern. It is, there's two pictures combined, a touch of pink, is one of them and then a splash of yellow. It says graphs by Barbara and Cheryl. So this is the one I'm actually working on a splash of yellow. A touch of pink is completely done. So I'm working on this one. I'm gonna pull it out here. I actually pulled out my um, tote from the New York Sheep and Wool Festival the, this past year. And this has been the perfect size to hold this cross stitch in. I didn't have any project bags big enough, but then I remembered I had this. Okay, so this picture there, it's so gorgeous and there's so much already done. It is in the, the thing still, don't yell at me. I had some people say I should not have it in there and I need to take it out. I'm just doing how my grandmother always did it, so. <laughs> Don't yell at me. Um, this is gorgeous. And this little bit right here is all that's left. My grandmother did all of that. And then I have started, I've done the stitching to the lines down the gate. And then I've done some of this over here. And that is all that I've done so far. I've worked on this uh, maybe three days and some days, like one day it was just a tiny little bit and then the other two days were Saturdays, hashtag stitching Saturday. I'm trying to jump on and do that and really that's when I get to work on this the most. So very slow going, but that's fine. I'm happy to be working on it. I spoke with my grandmother and she is very happy that I am working on it and going to finish it. So yeah, there's just really not just this bit right here. I mean, when you look, that's still a decent amount, but when you look at the grand scheme of this picture, there's really not that much left to do. Look at all the detail on that. It's so gorgeous. My grandmother, she doesn't cross stitch anymore, but she loved to do the full pictures. Me, if I pick out one, I tend to lean towards ones that have a lot of words or they're all the same color, like uh, the words and like, I did one out there that's like words and a house and everything was all red. So <laughs> it's just the outline of things. She loved to do the full, huge pictures. So I'm really enjoying this one. I cannot wait to get this done and framed have it hanging up. I think it's gonna be amazing. So I have here, I wanted to show you guys these too. Look at them, they're kind of yellowed with age. This one's maybe not quite as old as that one, but that one looks pretty old. These were what was with this project. I also have a couple of bags upstairs that I need to go through because I need to see, I know at least two threads so far that are not in these that I need, but my grandmother had these. It's been fun to have the same ones that she worked from. Each one has a little needle stuck down inside of it. I'm not sure if you can see that right there. 
every single one has a needle. So she just had a needle with every one and then was ready to go. So that's been fun to have the thread in the boxes for those and work right from that. But okay, I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. I will show you the two framed um, cross stitches that I have from her that when she moved out of her house, she gifted to me. I do not have the pattern names for either of those. She probably does not even remember them. So I'm not sure what they are to tell you guys, but then I will show you the finished unframed ones that I have. <music> scissors I always remember her having those scissors by her chair so maybe the threads I need are in here because they were ones that she was had the needles and the threads still attached but then I didn't have like a little bobbin with the remainder of the thread so maybe they're in here since her scissors are in here I need to go through those okay then here are the finished unframed. I'm going to be a little tricky about how I show these because some of them she stitched names into the bottom. Let me show you the pattern. Here it is. So it was out of this book. They're all finished, but I don't think there's a picture in the front and it's on the back and it has all the names on it so I can't show you that. Um, there's a photo on the back of this that has a picture of the quilt with all of these little squares and she had she was going to make the quilt to hang in her house and she had put on the back of this cover a name attached to each square for a member of the family and as she was finishing them some of them she did put their names on and she was just going to do the quilt. She passed it on to me because she never got it quilted or anything obviously and I think I'm going to end up gifting them to who they were intended for, framing them and then gifting them. So I'm going to be a little tricky about how I show these just in case some of those family members may watch. I'm not sure if they do but I do not want them to see their square yet. So here's the first one. And I guess it wouldn't hurt to say that this was my square. Right, I'm right, aren't I? Yes, this one was going to be my square on the quilt. Obviously she never got around to putting my name on it, <laughs> but this one was going to be mine. Okay, that doesn't have a name on it. <laughs> Gorgeous butterfly, it's all sparkly. Not all of them she got around to put, putting the names on. I think they are just so gorgeous. Okay, this one does have a name, so I'm covering it up. <laughs> this one has a name as well. It's finished right there. It's just a little bunched up. This one was her square. Another one with her name. I 
one has a name on it as well. You can see this one is a bit discolored. I'm not sure why. I mean, I know obviously she probably had a ring hoop around this, but just the part within the, where the, it would have been inside the hoop is discolored. And this is the last one, another one with her name on it. The last thing that I have is this kit right here. She had started this. So pretty. They're kind of half or they're not kind of, they are half stitches, a lot of them. So it just gives it such a different look. So this one she had started, but that's all she had gotten done. So I would love to finish this one as well one day. I have the pattern and all of the thread for that as well. So those are the items that she gave to me. I think she gave all of these to me about four years ago. And I've just had them waiting for me to decide to dive in to cross stitch again. So I'm feeling very inspired to work on these. She also gave me a ton of her patterns and books. So I've kind of went through those and picked some that I would like to do. I won't go through all of those, but keep an eye out down the line. I'm sure I will get to some of them eventually. I would love to anyways. But thank you guys so much for watching and hearing about the items that I have for my grandmother. And I hope that you enjoyed this little peek into those items. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.